Aquarius, come out to play EA. What's going on, my aquas? What is good? If you guys clicked on that thumbnail, you see a different type of title. You see a different type of spread. It's not a mistake. This is Readings by Marvelous Madame. I am O oh Marvelous One. Marvelous Madame, welcome back to the Marvelous Show. Now, what you hear me shuffling in the back is the Angel Answers Oracle cards. I think I'm going to pull one to clarify at the end of this just to see what more information the angel could provide. As you have already seen, judging by the title, this is an extended bonus reading that was subscriber requested. Um, I love you guys. This is you marvelous tribe members. I appreciate you guys so much. I tell you in every video, this video will not have a bonus. I'm, I'm sorry, an intro because obviously it is a bonus. So this is a career and finance spread. We're going to take um, we have five cards here with the bottom of the deck energy. We're going to be examining the energy that's surrounding around you, Aquarian, sun, moon and rising Aquarius. OK, as it pertains to your career and finances, if you want a full reading, if you want a little bit more insight, please go ahead and feel free to book me. I do have a Facebook poll right now that's going to end in a few days that is asking my tribe members if you would like me to incorporate these type of videos into the spread moving forward or into the lineup, not the spread. Int so right now, um, I do offer a bone, a, a uh, general reading for the elements that has been suspended until um, the majority of the planets are direct. So that won't be until October. You guys let me know. Go over there and take that poll so I can know whether this is what you want me to do. Getting down to the nitty gritty Aquarius, this is going to be for you guys. This was subscriber requested uh, by your fellow Marvelous Tribe member, Alyssa Bubble TX3. She wanted this particular video. She asked me to do it. I promised her that I would. And feel free if you want to see something or you want to know something, just ask me. You might be surprised at what you're going to get. OK. This is going to be, again, a five card reading. I did pull the bottom of the deck, um, pull energy from the bottom of the deck. We're going to be examining the energy only that's going to be surrounding you. It will not be a predictive. This is going to happen. That's going to happen. It's going to be more of the energy that you could have either um, just experienced or it's coming up. This is not time specific, although for documentation purposes of the video, I did put August of 2018. Guys, you already know energy goes from side to side and up and down and round and round. OK, um, <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and get started right now. All right. So the bottom of the deck energy that's going to um, be examining or what you guys could be experiencing surrounding the energy in your career and finance sector is the Ten of Pentacles. OK, the Ten of Pentacles or the Ten of Diamonds. Diamonds is Earth energy. You already know um, that diamond is the equivalent of the, the suit of Pent. Pent <clears throat> is um, the Earth energy, represents the Virgo, the Taurus and the, and the Capricorns, Aquarians. And the Ten of Pentacles is an amazing type of energy to be surrounded around, especially in career and finances. It's basically is the epitome of everything that you can think of as far as your material, your material and finance, financial abundance. OK, um, this is letting you know that something that you're embarking on or something that you want to do is going to be financially rewarding. OK. Not only that, if you see that this card is representative or representing, um, if you look at the card visually, I'm sorry, 
it basically has a family. You're looking out on the horizon. So um, with, you know, man, woman and child. And this is letting you know that energetically this is the bottom of the deck. This is what you're wanting. This could be what you are experiencing or this is what is coming down the pipeline eventually. And this also lets you know that you're going to be in a position to help your relatives. Aquarius, you know that you do do that. Um, there's going to be something that is going to leave you in a financial state of success. And with that success, you're going to be in a position to possibly help some people um, that are less fortunate. You guys have huge hearts and this is what you want to do when you when you achieve the epitome of what you because everybody's gauge for financial abundance is a little bit different. And when you. When you achieve that, the first thing that you think about is the people that you care about, which makes you guys one of the most beautiful signs. Um, it's, it's about the collective, it's about the community and more importantly, your community, who you deem important to you. And we all have that and we all look at things through different lenses. So energetically, you guys are definitely embarking upon financial success, whether that be through some type of inheritance, whether that be uh, somebody gifting something to you. This could mean a number of things. We are. This is the career spread and finances. So I am using the um, them one hand in hand. I'm not breaking out money separately and I'm not breaking career out separately. So if it resonates, great. If it doesn't, let it skate. But from that standpoint, energetically, this is how you are feeling and this is happening to you. If not already, it is coming. OK. One of the other energies that we have here is the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords is a beautiful type of energy. OK. The Ace of Swords is definitely positive. Indicating that you guys have are going to be surrounded around. Uh, again, positive outcomes as it pertains to career and finances things are becoming clearer for the future this is you coming up with new and fresh ideas this is you being able to look at things from um, new and exciting angles this is you coming up with plans and running with them this is you having energetically this ten of diamonds or ten of pentacles mentality and this is you operating in your element because this is a spade, an ace of spades is the equivalent of the ace of swords. Swords represent your element Aquarius. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarians. OK, this is you operating in your element and mapping out your life. And you have achieved mental clarity when it comes down to what you want to achieve financially and how you want to go about doing so in your career. OK, this is you overcoming and triumph and being triumphant over mental adversities and things that have um, held you back and kept you in a very stagnant energy as far as it, this sector of your life in the past. And this is you coming to grips with what didn't work and moving forward with what will work and come what may. OK, implementing the changes necessary to move forward so you can get the financial abundance. OK, then the next card or energy that we're having again, you are operating in your element with this queen of swords. This is a very no nonsense um, type of card. You are embodying this particular card. You do. You can't feel lonely. Um kind of going into this no nonsense queen of swords, but you're going to be cutting through the BS. OK, um, you obviously are starting to embody with especially with the energy around you being very mental, uh, achieving the mental clarity. Now it's time for you to start cutting out the BS that no longer serves you so you can again get to this ten of pentacles or a uh, ten of diamonds. OK. Um, you are going to be moving in a very logical way. Okay. You're going to be moving in a very logical way. Um, very methodical planning it out, de de definitely adopting this very earthy mentality about making plans, 
Um, you have heavy, heavy um, influences here energetically from the earth realm. So this is you sitting down and combining earth and, and, and mental, okay? And coming up with a plan of the future. So this goes right with this Ace of Swords and no better person to pull off this Ace of Swords than the Queen of Swords. Now you're gonna start cutting out things that no longer serve you mentally, okay? And the way that you handle relationships, but this is a career and finance spread. So this is definitely what you're going to be doing in the workplace or in your approach to finding future work. Again, if it resonates, great. If it doesn't, let it skate. For those of you who are unemployed, your approach is going to be changing. For those of you who are in a, a current job right now, I'm feeling like it's a possibility that you're not happy. You are yearning for more deep down inside. Um... And I'm feeling like you guys are definitely going to achieve that. Now, you guys are working on self-improvement as well. We have double aces here. And this makes sense. You are embodying your element and operating at the top of your game with this ace. So this first ace that we have is you operating in your element. And then you're going to move over to the ace of diamonds or the Ace of Pentacles in your career and finances. This is amazing to get because this is the foundation card. And this is you being very realistic with yourself on what it takes to get to this, this, this 10. What it takes to complete the cycle. What it's going to take you. You already got the mental down. Now, what do I need to plan you already are cutting out mental thoughts and blockages that no longer serve you to get to this bag, to get to the money, to get to the goal. Now you're looking at it from a very earthy standpoint. Again, this is the ace of diamonds or the ace of pinnacles. And this is you understanding that you have to change the way that you think. Look at things from a very realistic standpoint as it comes to as it pertains to your career and chart out the necessary plan and map out the necessary plan in order to get you there. Um, you are going to be investing a lot in yourself. OK, you're also going to start to understand that there is no better time than to do it. No, no better time to do it than the now. It's no longer going to be a thought that is fleeting, that pops up in your head and you like the thought and you like the way it makes you feel and then it goes away. No, this is you actually putting the pedal to the metal. How do I know that? Well, let's talk about it. We have the tower. Now, typically the tower and any type of career and finance um, reading means failure. No. Endings. No. This is a major arcana, okay? This is a divinely guided or fated event. Something needs to end. Some, and I don't believe that this is the physical loss of a job. I think that this is the end of your mental behaviors, thoughts, patterns, and ideas that held you back from being able to achieve your happiness as it pertains to this particular um, sector of your life. This is what I am picking up on intuitively. Now, for some of you, if that means that something ended, I don't like to predict that. But you have to understand that in order to get to the completion, in order to really embrace this, this 10 of diamonds. And I know that it's very cut and dry to some people. You have to understand that in order to achieve the ace, you have would have had to go through a complete cycle. Okay. Okay. So this means that from a mental perspective, you have went through the entire cycle and you have achieved your ace. This means that you're going to achieve. You are now at the end of your earthly cycle because you want to achieve the 10 of pentacles or the 10 of diamonds. But underneath you have the ace. So that's letting me know that this is going to be a cycle that is closing either good or bad. And you're going to be receiving the ace. Now, the ace is also another major arcana, which I forgot to point out. I apologize, which also is the world. A double dose of triumph, achievement and happiness. OK, so the double aces means that you are working on self reinventing self. 
getting the mental clarity and moving forward to reinvent self. The world card, which is also the ace of diamonds, could also indicate some type of travel. But again, this is you try being triumphant and achieving success and happiness. But you cannot get there unless something ends with this tower. OK, something definitely had to end. Something had to end. And I'm telling you that if it is the loss of some type of employment, you will be OK. I'm not getting that. I'm mainly getting that the, for a good majority of you that rock with this this message, I'm getting that this is you because you have a lot of mental clarity. You have a lot of mental clarity and you have you are changing the way that you think about the way that you approach your financial abundance, success and uh, your career path. I don't have an indication with all of these wonderful cards, the way that this is aspected. And again, this is not a position type thing or it's going to happen in the most recent past and present. This is the energy that's surrounding around you. Something in your life is coming to an end. Something in your life has to come to an end because it was not based upon false. It's not based on a uh, built upon a solid foundation anymore. Something that's coming to an end and it needs to come to an end in order for you to get where you need to be. And you don't know what's on the other side of that coin, Aqua, until you allow this change to take place. OK, I believe that that's what the tower is signifying here. But again, we end with the sun. This is what lets me know that what's on the other side of that coin is beautiful and abundant. As it pertains to career and finances, you know why? Because the sun is the happiest card of the deck, but it also is very straightforward as far as business is concerned. Your hard work has paid off. Remain optimistic no matter what this tower brings. What if the tower happened already? Good times are ahead. If the tower has yet to happen, remain optimistic because the situation needed to end Something needed to end in order for you to get to your son. Major Arcana, Major Arcana. OK, the sun is your happiness. It is it is one of the happiest cards of the deck that definitely indicates that there is going to be happiness and not only happiness. We're talking about career and finances right now. We're talking about success something is ending for something else to start granted this is just the tower is not the death card however the same rules apply because we have the tower next to the sun somewhere along the line no matter how you apply this in your life at some point something is ending and it's going to not go the way that ending is not going to be the devastation of a lifetime that you thought that it was going to be. That means that it's going to have an unexpected, happy and successful turn. That's what this means. OK, that's what it means. Aqua, this is beautiful energy. It makes sense. Mars is going direct. Mercury is already direct. September, the, the fourth quarter of 2018 is going to bring forth new opportunities for everybody to make money. This is what's surrounding around you. I could not be more happier. Embrace the change. Allow this eclipse energy that we just ended to eclipse things out of your life that no longer serves you and understand that there will be happiness at the end of the rainbow. OK, that's what I'm seeing. I'm going to pull one clarifier. I'm saying I see here in the near future. OK, whatever that means to you guys, I'm going to do another one. In the near future, you're going to be receiving some type of change. Listen to your intuition, Aqua. You guys need to tap in a little bit more and start listening to that voice. You don't trust it. You don't trust it. The situation will improve. And for shits and giggles, I'm going to take one more because the energy is flowing. OK. Oh, <laughs> I just flipped over the deck and proven health. OK, 
So the bottom of this particular deck is improving health. So you guys are going to get the happiness that you deserve. The situation is going to improve. Spirit is advising you to listen to your future, your future, your intuition. And in the near future, you are going to see either a improvement of your finances and career overall success and everything that I said, but in the near future, you're going to start to see things change, which makes sense and definitely align with all of the energy that we just got through dealing with recently. And again, I'm calling this the August, the August of 2018, but I really feel like this can apply whenever it applies to you. It's not a Oh, as soon as September 1st gets, this expires. That's not that type of party over here, okay? So, Alyssa Bubble T X3, sweetheart, this was for you, as well as all of your fellow Aquarians that have Aquarian sun, moon, and rising. I certainly hope that it resonated with you. Um, and I will start giving you guys and engaging you guys a little bit more um, as far as these subscriber requested uh videos it is my pleasure to read for you guys as always aquas um go ahead and leave me a like let me know whether this resonated with you let me know how you're feeling about it i certainly wish you guys um the the complete best okay and sending you lots of love and healing light it's always a pleasure. Again, share this with an Aquarius in your life. Like, share, and subscribe to My Marvelous Tribe. Happy, happy Sunday. Again, this is Marvelous Madame, and I am out. Bye, Aquas.